But it's the giant character that's really the main part of this whole thing. And um, the work is very, I, I keep saying it's wild and crazy because it really is wild and crazy. Um, it's unique, it's different, it's not uh, your normal poppy fields or um, barns or flowers. It's very offbeat and wild work. Um, if you come down here, you can see, you know, another big um, piece that is famous in the rat pink culture is the, um, the eye thing, the eyeball. Because that's here, and it's also here. It's, it's, another, it's another big icon of, of the custom culture rat pink art. I actually had a gentleman come in here and he had a tattoo of that eye thing on his arm, like here. So it's actually a very popular thing. Um, this was a culture that was started back in the 50s and the 60s and the hot rods and uh, right into the 70s. And there's still a lot of followers to this day that follow this culture. When we had the opening exhibit on uh, March 31st, we had a car show in the front. We had a band in here, and there was so much fun. It really was fun. I'm sorry you didn't get to see that, Casey. You should have been here. Um, so as you can see, if you keep going down the line, you can see all the different kind of things that we have here. There's also one thing, interesting thing. We have a poster here that's 3D. And if you look at the poster, see it's kind of like a, it looks weird like right here, but when you put your 3D glasses on, you can actually see the 3D effect. I wonder if it would work. Let me try this. I don't know if it'll work or not. You can try it and see. But you can see the 3D images. May not work though. Um, and then of course you got cute things like this. If it's rockabilly, rockabilly baby. You know, because rockabilly music is very associated with it. Um, and as you can see, here's, here's a poster with nothing but the eyeballs, all through it. A lot of these pieces are done by well-known artists in this culture. Um, a lot of them are signed and uh, one-of-a-kind pieces. And uh, there's probably never going to be another exhibit like this up here in the Antelope Valley. You know, for, at least not for a long, long time. Um, so this is a, a, a rare chance that we had to do this. And I was glad to be able to do it. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. And uh, so, we've even got cool prints in here too. I mean, look at that. Isn't that cool? I love this stuff. So if you're in the hot rods and you're in the custom car culture, um, you've only got a few more days to come down and see this. Um, here's another one. Eliminator. Chris, were you a part of this car culture um, back in the day? Uh, no, not my memories? brother was. You know, I have an older brother who who's uh, eight years older than I was, and he was very into this stuff. So through him, you know, I was exposed to it. I know at a very young age, and uh, and and I I like it. You know, I mean, people say you know it's not really art, but it is art. You know, and there's room in the art world for all kinds of art. And uh, anybody who's a true appreciator of art needs to accept that, you know, rather than just saying that this is, this is art and this is not art and this is art and that's not art. Really, there's, there's room in the art world for all kinds of art. Just open up your mind. Exactly, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, because it certainly does take talent to be able to create these things. <laughs> um, like this, this is another example of tiki art, you know, and this is an, an original enamel on uh, Masonite, and there uh, was a lot of detail, a lot of time, and a lot of talent that goes into that. And I, I consider this to be just as artistic as, as the fine art pieces like this. This is a fine art piece. And, um, and everything in between. There goes my bell. <laughs>